Have you been searching on YouTube for hours and hours to find a good editing tutorial but you just can't find one? Well, guess what? I present to you the best editing tutorial for free. Welcome back everyone. This was a highly requested video, so I'm just going to get straight to it. You go to the settings thing, you go to timeline frame rate and then you click 60. So I have this paper background, so let's put that in. Smooth zoom out. I'll be showing how to make that. Grab an adjustment clip onto your timeline. Change the duration to about 40 frames. Open it in the fusion page. Go to the first frame and add a lens blur. Click this little diamond icon right here, which is the keyframing button, and then go to the end of the clip and change it to zero. Also, if you don't have the spline graph enabled, click that. See this graph right here? It's just like a straight line. Click Command A or Control A on PC. S T and make it. is in about 100 so now right. we have so a now we have a slow transform node go to the first frame keyframe the size and zoom in to about 2.7 go to the last frame make the size 1 and we have this animation it's good is basically now we just do the same thing we make it is in you see that smooth animation i recommend turning on power bins and dragging this onto the man in red You find an image you like. You right-click it, copy image, go to remove dot bg, paste it. Now copy that image. Go to photo b, click new project, then paste that image onto there. Change the size and angle and stuff however you want. Right-click and click scale. I'll link Finzar's tutorial on this down in the description. But I'll show you how to edit it. Basically, you have to make it a circle. So what I did was I made a separate file which had my profile picture as a circle. Now I can just import. that instead of having to import this to make it fit the face see this background remove the lock remove the background and now you have a person with a transparent background save the file as a png import it into davinci resolve and drag it onto your timeline and now you have this man pops out of nowhere there's no animation you go into fusion page this might decrease the quality i'll show you how to fix that later transform node so zero frame size is 1 fifth frame size is 1 1.1 eighth frame the size is 1 it's a pop up like that change the values if you want so you know what we have to do spline graph will come in clutch again and it's now smooth but you can still make it better by adding motion blur i turn quality and shutter angle up fully see that motion blur that's good There are presets that are extremely useful, like Mr. Alex Tech Magic Animate and stuff. The Magic Zoom makes everything so easy. You just drag an adjustment clip, put the Magic Zoom effect on it, put effects, and you can adjust everything. Add a text plus, open it in the Fusion page. Add a transform node. Go to the very beginning. Keyframe size and angle. Make the size 1.1 and the angle minus 3. 3 frames in. Change it to 0.95 and change the angle to around 1. Sixth frame and make the size 1.1 and make the angle minus 2. Eighth frame 1 0. So this is where the animation will finish. Change the ease in. This is what it should look like. Motion blur. You have a complete animation. Keyframe the rotation of the Z axis. Keep going to wherever you want the animation to end. Change the rotation. Make the size small. Go to the color thing. Keyframe it and then change the color to whatever you want. You can manually do this. Keep going further, further out into the video. Keep changing the color. Go into the fusion tab. Add a glow. Change the apply mode to threshold and then add ray. Just ray. C I R. You can adjust the settings if it's too much for you. That's about how to make the text. Grab an adjustment clip, open it in the fusion page, add a rectangle, transform mode, then go to the rectangle with the width and height full and add a corner radius. Obviously you can adjust it and then go to the transform mode and make the size small. Go mode and that's about it. Please do comment on this video if you want a more detailed tutorial.